Yesterday, I did a Facebook post uh, response to someone who had asked me the meaning of my name and I mentioned my grandfather, Ikembua the first, Prince Moju, and um, somebody responded and said that that name uh, sounded like an Igbo name and I um, tried to educate the person on the reason why there are names that sound like uh, Ishakiri or Bini names among the Igbos and um, apparently it ruffled some feathers and you know, I, I wanted to shoot this video to explain to people that we should not be emotional uh, or sentimental about, about history. You know, history is not always pleasant. You know, so we as black folk must learn our history. Because if we don't learn our history, that's why we say a lot of times that um, history repeats itself. History does not repeat itself. History is not a person. History is not a thing. History is just history. It's because we do not learn our history and then we will repeat history and then we claim that history has repeated itself it doesn't repeat itself you know that's why we have a president like muhammad buhari because we have not learned from history and as a result of that we are repeating in the year 2021 our history of 1983. now the ishakiri and the benin are ancient people um the first olu of wari ginua was actually an uh, a prince actually from uh, from the Benin Empire. He came and he founded um, the uh, Ishakiri Empire in Wari. And so the, 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 that's why they always are together, you know, like um, there's so much similarities. And uh, I'm about to show you this video. This video is by David Attenborough. David Attenborough is the preeminent anthropologist in the world. Not one of the, he's the number one. And this carving that he's going to show you, historical evidence, factual evidence, documentary evidence, is from the 16th century. That's about like maybe the year 1550. Now look at that, from 1550. So he's about to show you this. And I want you to watch this and let's learn from history so that we can make progress as black people together. Thank you for watching. God bless you. raise an army of a hundred thousand men within 24 hours. Many plaques record their victories. This is a prisoner with a brutal sword wound across his chest. The scars on this man's face show him to be an Igbo from one of the tribes to the east of Benin with whom the Bini had many wars. When this plaque was made, the Portuguese had been in touch with the kingdom for something like a century, and they too appear on the plaques. They're shown with such accuracy that it's possible to date them from the details of their clothing. This man must have been in Benin in the early 16th century. He's armed with an elegant sword, but the Portuguese had more advanced and effective weapons than that. They brought cannons and muskets, the first guns that the Bini had seen and they had crossbows. The Oba persuaded them to join his army, and with them on his side, he became one of the most powerful rulers in West Africa, conquering an empire that stretched for 200 miles along the coast from the frontier of present-day Dahomey to the banks of the Niger River. The Portuguese were seeking ivory, pepper, and above all, slaves. The Oba supplied them, and in exchange obtained metal. One of the attendants waiting on this chief carries what was to become the standard currency on the coast, a European-made ingot of bronze, a manila. And metal from overseas is still eagerly sought after today. <laughs> 